It all started with something that was handy and plentiful, corn shucks. Now there actually isn't a world of things you can do with them, unless you're Jesse Coffee of Eton, Georgia. Fifteen years ago, Granny Coffee took a notion to make a hat out of them, the first of a long line of corn shuck creations. I never dreamed such thing. I never <laughs> dreamed about a shuck hat till I don't know one morning. I don't know whether I'd been to the garden or just out there in the yard and the flowers or what I was doing. And it just come to me to make me a shuck hat. And I went down there to the barn and got the shucks and made that one. That old one over there. That first, that one I showed you. Well, when and do you wear it? When did I wear it? Yeah. I wore that to the garden to pick beans and to work and and uh, sit out in the shade of the walnut tree and strung beans and shell peas with that hat on for everybody that went by to see me <laughs> with my shuck hat on. <laughs> Not just any corn will do. The yellow corn shucks are the best, she's decided, because of the color. This year's corn crop wasn't any good for hat making. The heavy rains darken the shucks and she won't use them. Luckily, there are plenty of shucks left from earlier crops. Granny, why'd you decide to use corn shucks? Why did I? I just wonder what made that come to me. Why did it? Why did it come to me to make a hat out of corn shucks? I never had seen one in my life. Why did that? I've often wondered. Patiently, layer upon layer, Mrs. Coffee will build a hat, taking the time to snip and trim the shucks to some exact pattern she has in her mind. Every one of her children and grandchildren have one of her creations, all gussied up with a colorful lining and a soft velvet ribbon. They don't look like they're made from what many people classify as fodder. It didn't take much persuasion to convince Mrs. Coffee to model one of her hats. Not much persuasion at all. When you get that on, you just about disappear down there. <laughs> but they, they like them like that. <laughs> Granny, you imagine this is going to be the latest fashion for 76, the corn shuck hat? You reckon it would be? <laughs> <laughs> for sure. But that really is something. That is beautiful. Yes, it is. It, it certainly is that. I never expected that a corn shuck could look so good. <laughs> In Eton, Georgia, with Granny Coffee, I'm Andy Johnston. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'll be doggone.